My friends, welcome back. We're playing as the United Federation of uh, Planets. Let's uh, on pause here. I allocated some of these um, planets to what they are going to be all about. Uh, as you can see, we're building up a massive stockpile. So this might not be the course we want to go with. Um, therefore, I've decided to just bring this down a lot. Uh, even the energy just no point just do it like this 20 on 20 once they use it they use it if not they they don't use it whatever um let's see if actually that would do something look at that i have do i really have to do this nothing happens over here and i'm sure some of them yeah some of them are just i don't know what is going on like i said previously um when I uh, started the game, everything was set to default. Okay, nothing happens in here. You're a commercial outpost. We do want to make sure that we get... Where are these guys going? So, the upkeep is quite large and we will have to take it. Uh, we will have to. I don't think that setting these... These teams actually works for this uh, mod for now. Considering we are losing zero, we we're not gaining any of them though. So that's a bit of a shame. Let's just make sure that the uh, these are all starting to be active. Hopefully this will work because it's just annoying if they're not doing anything. You know, it's it, what's the point if we. Um, we don't, every time, if I'm on pause, this, something will happen. Like, they're building up cities. Okay, that's nice. But if I'm paused, nothing happens. Does this do anything? So, please, explain this to me. Why, why they are now building stuff. Um, otherwise, they don't. You know, it's not how it should be, I think. So, pausing does affect how the game behaves, apparently. Uh, we have a war declaration somewhere. We could mediate in a dispute. That would be um, interesting, perhaps. But like I said um, last time as well, um, I want to make sure this is the United Federation of Planets. War is not its main focus. And I know some would really like to see wars. And aggressive expansion, and I, I'm really a huge fan of aggressive expansion. You don't have to tell me about aggressive expansion. I really enjoy expanding. That's why I have so many series on aggressive expansion. And expanding. Uh, but this is different. This is different. This is completely new, and I'm trying to find a way in there. Why, why only the buildings? Why? Look, and I'm just clicking automation. Oh, maybe if I just do this? No. I just have to reset you and you and you start building nutrient enrichers. Someone explain to me why this doesn't happen when paused. Uh, what's this? Let's do the 50. So it will have to be on and then something happens. You know, it's, it's weird. It's like the AI just doesn't get what's going on. Do you have the same problems I'd, I'd say problems they're not really problems they're just a bit annoying but that's it uh, as you can see here we're making zero let's see what do we get in physics so oh yeah it's the two month one uh, let's go with the tactical console the next stage shield is nice but we'll, we'll clear out the cheap stuff first now we're very much over our uh, our capacity uh, we can still change that, of course, and we are about to. Where is this? Man, I should really collect all of that, but um, that, that's future, future stuff. First things first, two naval caps. And let's just start with an orbital museum and a orbital hospital and upgrade this immediately. The Sonic Command and the Articant Packlets. Interesting. We'll just see. Let us uh, get. It. Let's try this faster speed. How how will this affect us? 
uh, while of course increasing the fleet. Fleet is already at full strength. 7.6. Let's zoom out a bit more. Maybe just, you know, not show everything. And we have completed the three year mission. With whom? Captain and crew. I think this is um, Windslayer. Yeah, Windslayer. So let's go. Everyone can go. Uh, this one is being done. Can you. No, you're not ready yet. Renaissance Age. Uh, well, we are not allowed to uplift anything else. And this will still take a good amount of time. There's some naval combat going on, but we um, we got out of that one without uh, too many issues. I would like to see the next stage. Speaking of stages... Um, we're almost there. 92 remaining. Got some investigation options. Let's do that. Uh, this one. Don't know why. Can't do anything about it. It's uh, it's what it is. They filled. It filled twice. Uh, it's the thing over here. Can't do anything with that. We have a new cruiser. But also new. Uh, new contacts. Let's provide us some more. So. Streamline production. 50% alloyed built or more hull. Let's go with the reinforced. Because I, I just want to make them strong. I want to have them as fast as possible. The hover. The Cardassian. The Cardassian Explorer has been marked for retirement. We just had that. We just had that last time. Remember that. Isn't that annoying? So the Aras and the Miranda class we now have. And here's the Kelvin class. Let's just go with the smaller options first. Because I'm retiring ships like there's no tomorrow. Let's take a look. Ship design. Um, yeah, it's gone. Like the Tapal is still here. We have the Explorer Fall. Which is quite cool. We can actually go and focus it more on heavy weapons. And yeah, that, that's actually quite nice. Can't save that. Ship with this name already exists. Isn't that lovely? Has it been made? Is it going to be built somewhere? The frigate and an advanced cruiser. Advanced cruiser is not progressing. Um... No, no, no. He actually is progressing. Go there. Okay, so maybe not the Miranda class then. Apparently randomizing the name don't, don't work. <laughs> sure, game. Thank you. Thank you. Why? The design with that name already exists. So how to deal with this? Just give it a pause and just delete this if it's possible. Uh, we have the heavy cruiser. Oh man, this is we're getting into Kirk's age. Mm, yeah, I'm going for this one. The heavy cruiser, sure, why not? The Eris. Cool. I really like this. They look so nice. They really look nice. Let's get rid of this one as well. We're actually building our very first advanced cruiser, which is so much. Look at this. Look at the change in, 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 in power. So we have our flagship with a damage of um, amazing. Not really. And here we go. 170. 150. Actually, currently, my, um, my flagship is, is just a tiny bit stronger than the DePaul class Vulcan cruiser. It's a joke. It truly is a joke. I'm sorry, it is. Uh, we need a new, a new design on that. A new flagship. 
Hopefully we'll get it soon. Let's go with the um, the weaponized option. And uh, let's see. Ambassador complex, admin cap. Or federation member worlds. Uh, oh, I was going to see unlock access to unique federation policy. Which enables you to set the focus of federation member worlds across the galaxy. How does this work? Let's see if something will go happening. We don't care about that. So this is um let's let's go member world. Trade deal. Can we can we set focus? No, not like that. If it is real, it No, if it is real. Infinite diversity. How to do this, guys? How do we... Is it in... Perhaps policies? Federation membership policy. Here we go. This is the one. Starfleet support. Each member world will provide additional naval capacity through the Federation. Unity. Trade. Um, research. Officer recruitment and industrial. Um, for me personally, uh, the uh, the increase in research 2.5, but also the naval cap are very very nice. Anything else that we need to be changing? There's there's probably a few things that were getting in here that I just didn't notice. Um, I kind of feel that we want to go to a moderate security check. Maybe. But the stability decrease, it, it's starting to be like a police state, right? So it, it's just like five. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but still, it is something that we have to deal with. So if we can just go moderate for now and we'll do maximum eventually. Um... Platinum and Unity, um, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm very much in favor of that still. Mixed Economy, I don't like changing these things. Look, because monthly supply is negative 25, that, that would probably get me in the red numbers. Not really looking forward to that. So, yes, there's, there's no other options. We, um, we now have Federation Membership Policies. Never had those before. As you can see here, is it a thing that... No, we did use about 8k, which is cool. But we got no jobs. We might have to change this naval one and replace you with a regional capital since you are research focused. This will get rid of one marine job and we'll get two jobs. So they'll both be happy. Seven, eight, it's not going to cut it. Um, yeah, this I don't fully understand. Actually, no, it produces 25. The sickest, the sickest amount of resources I've ever seen in any, any of these things. Military complex and fortress worlds, need a lifespan, quarantines, effect shift, mapping the stars. Let's go with this um, additional interstellar healthcare organization just because it sounds cool and uh, the mining field is done yay yeah not really let's get this out of out of the way so we're going to be focusing a massive massive deal on research hopefully but i'm i was kind of hoping the ai would be more participant in this. The Ferengi Alliance and the rivals were making a hundred again. Uh, we can probably let's just close this because it's annoying. How about this? It's that this theme song is so epic that I don't want to change it, otherwise I would have turned it down. <laughs> it's just a tiny bit. I'm loving this theme song. 
Uh, let's upgrade you as well. 7-8, so it's not as strong as the other fleet. And that one has these 7th uh, class. Uh, yeah, a bit of a shame. Oh well, what can you do? Not so much. Let's just save upon alloys. Actually, we don't have to save upon alloys. We, um, we got two full fleets, right? Um, but it looks of it we can still increase this. 196, so that's 4. Would be just over 5. What we also could do, and that is a massive undertaking. Since we have 100 star systems. Is uh, getting traffic control in most of these. It will make everyone faster. Um... It will cost me about 100 energy a month. And a lot of alloys. So let's save up on alloys. Uh, oh, here we go. We can build up the Galactic Forum. Very cool. Let's do that. We're making so much ice water. It is insane. Let's zoom out a bit more. If I can get another station, I will probably just re -put it, put it back in Pajem. I wish I could actually do something about their stations since they are well quite weak mm. the rivalry is being done so i'm hoping that next time we can do a small boost with them and we'll integrate well, these guys like into the federation they're already our vassal by their own choice we said yes we shall protect you and they were like Thank you. I guess. Uh, new research here. Pulse wave torpedoes. Mm, Starbase level 3. Yeah, we need this. Let's go with the Starbase level 3. Since that will increase our naval cap a great deal. But also the, uh, the range of um, our trade hubs. So this should be on 993. So it was on 66. So, it increases quite a bit. I wish it said how long it would take. Um, 336 to 9. That's about 30. So, this would be 15. Medium should be more than enough. I don't dare to take low. Just in case it's not strong enough. It moves enough. me strongly every time. Yes. But, yes. We're going to be taking the... Um, an increased star base level 3 it's just 40 months empire sprawl is plus 100 <laughs> cool uh, anything else being done here so we're building up still it's just just not doing anything not really what if we create vessels now we have to integrate them again. I, I don't see the point in that. So he is not happy. Why is that? Because he was born unhappy. That's very possible. Let's make sure that we at least keep this going. This will provide us with more than enough. Population growth as well. So let's build more regional capitals. Developed colony. Um, bread baskets. Build a bread basket. Do whatever. Just make sure you give me food. Um, are we already making food? No. Let's do large scale fields then. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a bummer that the AI itself doesn't do these things. Uh, let's boost up more alloys. Water clad. Yeah, great. We don't care. Let's zoom out a bit. So here's my two fleets, just in the middle of my uh, empire. We are being insulted by the Sonic Command. So, most likely the war is not going well for you. Maybe. What the hell is going on with this? Let's put that on silent. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, open borders. Sure. Why not? Why not? Just open those borders. 
that's all done. That will continue. All of these can soon upgrade. Are you to my liking now? Yes, you are. Can't wait to start on these guys. Actually, I wasn't aware of this part over there. There is still a planet. So this is a, um, a bit of a thing though. Because we can't go through the uh, Romulan territory. Of course, we can go through our allies' territory. And we're almost at the center of the galaxy. Look how strong these guys are. 9k. That will be my entire fleet. Speaking of those. We should start clearing some of these uh, areas. Which are within my borders, of course. Because we don't help out any others. There's 3k in here. Uh, that's not our problem. But these guys are. So, we'll send out our fleets in there. And just have a bit of fun. Just go aggressive. Uh, there's a trade deal. Minerals, thank you. There's a research deal. So, they're starting to like me. I hatched ready. Yes, you hatched ready. Great. Oh, this is almost done. Construction ship is doing its thing. That's almost there. Ten more days. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can change this. Close this off. We can actually focus a bit more on perhaps the, um, the factions. Anything that I can build. Who are you? This is a warp capable empire. But I cannot. Talk with them. Since they are warp capable. But not there yet. What happens if I go here. And um, you know. Close their borders with us. Oh, that's annoying. Adios, Walter is uh, missing in action. I wonder what this will do for us. This will probably change, like, perhaps even the Klingon's opinion on us. So much going on here. Uh, to boldly go. Why the hell not? Commercial outpost. Oh man. No, oh, you don't really need that. You know, it, it's in things like this, in these times, where it is getting... There's so much going on. And I, I could dedicate... Complete episodes... And just doing planetary stuff. Research colony. Not what I wanted, go away. So we can only build one. Do we not have the regional capital in here? No. Yeah, we do. We can just build only one. Ah, oh, that's bad. It doesn't really work the way I hoped it would work. Oh boy. Let's do alloys then. Fine. Time project. Let's go to here. Who is the closest scientific guy? No, they won't be able to manage to be back in time. Um, yeah, that's not happening, right? If I move there. 279 days actually we are able to do this but this is our flagship and we cannot send our flagship where the hell are our scientists how about you yeah so, uh, we'll have to build a new guy. Let's get a new one. And build another scientist. That's um, a lot faster. We'll do that. We'll end the episode. 
and we'll have to indicate i would like to go and do we are ready a sun wars for crying out loud i would really like to have sun wars so are you going to be done oh you're actually back Oh, but you're all the way up there. Well, that doesn't work. So we just have to hold, get a new ship. And send them over. Mm -hmm. Science ship there, almost 90%. There we go. Oh, there's a medical in here. Let's let's get you. Yeah, I know. No, we should probably use him for research. Well, we don't need to. We don't need to. We're going to be making so much more research. Well, since that um, we can only build one scientific building per planet, I'm actually considering just making sure we get that done on all of the planets. And perhaps even focus a bit more on uh, on unity. Let's do three, four. Man, it's a lot though. This is a massive. Look at that. That's sick. That truly is sick. Uh, we'll focus on uh, supplies um, later, since this is the only thing that we can do. Well, guys, um, we're going to be sending him on a three-year mission. He's a new guy. He's manacle. I'm going to end the episode up here. I'm going to be building regional capitals on all of our planets, just so you know. Since we got this whopping amount of 40, I'm so thrilled that we can change this. I'm actually considering just giving maybe some more territory to my uh, to the states. See what it will do to the game. Who knows? Perhaps it's very strong. Let me know in the comment section about what you think about that. Do you have dealings that you give? more to um to other uh, to other vessels man you are behind i'm all happy that he is in here already anyways we'll uh, look to see how this fight will go in the next episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time have a good one bye bye